Meet Bryce. He's the IT manager at EveryCorp. It's his job to select, prepare, and distribute computers to hundreds of users. Unfortunately, all the software has to be managed, and he's tired of having to deal with each user's computer one by one. He can imagine a perfect situation where business software and data are managed centrally and can be provided to all users at once. This way, he could create consistency and have a way to test changes. What Bryce needs is control for business. He has considered thin clients, but they don't measure up. He doesn't like that they require a connection at all times and bog down his networks. He has to have more servers, space, heat, and power in the data center. Plus, the graphics and video performance are subpar, and his users need portability that thin clients can't provide. Of course, users like Leslie have needs too. Leslie needs the flexibility to add software for things like smartphone syncs and personal media. Her business laptop needs to handle all kinds of software. Leslie needs flexibility. So Bryce is faced with a dilemma. He needs a way to balance the control he needs for business with Leslie's need for flexibility. Soon Bryce learned about a way for two or more computers to be ran on a single computer, something called virtualization. Using a PC with an all-new Intel Core vPro processor, he could strike the perfect balance by making it possible to have control and flexibility at the same time. Here's how it works. Let's say this is a normal computer. It has a processor and memory that make it efficient and powerful. Using the power of the hardware is software. On most computers, there is one set of software and one set of hardware. Thanks to virtualization, multiple sets of software can now be organized into virtual computers or containers that share a single set of hardware. This means a computer can have one set of hardware and multiple containers for multiple needs. This is good news for Bryce. Thanks to virtualization, he can have a virtual container that is strictly controlled by IT for work purposes. It has all the company documents, data, and software that his users need. Plus, it's controlled back at the home office. The containers can be sent right to company computers. And the container is protected through encryption and Intel Core vPro processors hardware-assisted security. It will run on the company's laptops and only on the company's laptops. If the laptop is stolen or lost, Bryce can ensure that the computer can no longer be used thanks to anti-theft technology that's built into an Intel Core vPro processor. All data are continually backed up and centrally managed at headquarters. There are few worries about data loss. Bryce set Leslie up with a separate container that she can use for her own purposes. If Leslie puts her personal media and software in this container, everything is just fine. She can even keep backups of her own containers without using Bryce's servers at headquarters. This makes Bryce's life easier because Leslie's music and applications won't interfere with his work software. Plus, if Leslie gets a new Intel Core vPro processor-based computer, he can use the internet to send her the containers she needs to get rolling quickly. Bryce is in love with the Intel Core vPro processor and virtual containers. He can maintain control and security of the company's data, configuration, and information assets across laptops and desktops, and have the computing power needed for media and graphics, even while users like Leslie connect from home, airports, and coffee shops. And Leslie is more confident than ever. Because her container won't impact Bryce's, she doesn't have to worry about breaking something. Now, because she can use company containers on her own computer, She's thinking of asking Bryce to install secure work containers on her new desktop at home with an Intel Core vPro processor. That way, she'd have the computing power of her on-site colleagues. It starts with the all-new 2010 Intel Core vPro processor family, which contains hardware-assisted virtualization and security. You can learn more at intel.com vpro.